What's good, everybody? What's going on, family? How you guys doing? Hope all is well with you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful day, this blessing, this gift of life that has been presented to you as a present. Hope that each day that you wake up, that you're able to leave yesterday with yesterday and live in today. And enjoy the power that comes with living in the moment of now. Yes, there is power in living in the moment of now. Believe it or not. So welcome to Praise One, Love One, God Only. The channel where you are constantly reminded that things will happen. That life is hard. That life is like a wheelbarrow. You got to keep going and push and push and push if you want to get anywhere. Oh yes, and that life is not easy. Life is hard, but that's what makes it so much worth it. Oh man. And anything that I do share and will share with you guys has nothing to do with what I've done in my life. It's what God has done in my life and continues to do in my life as long as I allow Him to, as long as I ask Him to, as long as I beg Him to, as long as I pray each day to continue to reveal what is happening, what is occurring, what is going on, and ask Him to reveal it to me. And He will and He does, but not on my time, on His time. Welcome to the channel where I could actually stand here and say, you know what, I'm proud of you, you are worthy. You are amazing. You are smart. You are one of a kind. There's only one of you. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the channel where I can tell you clearly and honestly and sincerely that I need you to figure out what's bothering you. Dig deep, deep down past your physical body and get to the deepest part of your soul. Open up that precious gift that is given to you each day as a, as a day of life and get down to the nitty gritty. Find out what is bothering you. Find out what's holding you back. Find out what your fears are. Yes. The biggest and the worst virus that could exist is fear. That's it. Fear. Fear controls us in such a way where it's, uh, it doesn't allow us to continue to go, go forward. It doesn't allow us to continue to grow and to go through things and stuff. And to learn what we need to learn. But it holds us back and keeps us frozen. Okay. Now, FEAR is an, ac an acronym that I want to share with you guys. F-E-A-R. Face everything and rise. That's right. Thank you, Pitbull. Yes. And like Denzel Washington always says, put God first. Put God first in everything. So welcome to the channel where I am reminding you to put God first in everything and anything. Yes. I didn't always stick with God, but he always stuck by me in the darkest places that I could have ever been, in the darkest places in my mind, or physically, he was always there waiting for me to reach out to him and ask him for help, for guidance, because he is my refuge, he is my rock, oh yes, 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 now, for many years, I decided to live in the past, I decided to allow the mistakes and the failures that I participated in and was responsible for to control my future, my well-being, and the moment of now. I, I, I chose and decided to allow, because I made a mistake, because I messed up, to allow that to not allow my progress and bettering of my life. And when I chose to let go of all that, and focus on now, then the real power came into effect. The real power, the power of being able to live with abundance of peace, love, joy, happiness, healing, great health. Oh yes, and things still happen, you guys. Things still do. Oh yes, they do, don't get me wrong. But the battlefield is in my mind. So if I face all my fears, face everything and rise like the phoenix from the ashes, then I'm able to continue to transform my mind, take advantage of each day that I wake up and live another day, and be here with family. Look at this. I'm right here next to a mountain. It's about 100 and some degrees. There's a pool right there. I'm on a second story. We just finished barbecuing. We're eating some good ribs, some good food, salad, some shrimp. And I'm, and I'm able to do this with my family. Oh my goodness. And the only way this could be possible is by living in the moment of now. And the only, that, the only the way that could be possible is by living my life being guided by God. 
to know that there's a purpose that he still has me here. We all made it past 2020, whoever's listening to this. And there's a reason and a great big purpose why we're here. Have you figured out yours? Let me remind you, and it's only a suggestion, the only way you're going to figure out what your purpose is by living in the moment and now and letting go of what you need to let go and let God. Let go and let God. Now I'm going to give you an, uh, an analogy. Um, thank you, Elliot, Elliot Hawes. But let me give you an, an analogy. Oh, and thank you, Dr. Lee, pastor at, at Church Illuminate. I got to go over the past weekend on Sunday. It was awesome. You get two, two men, man A, man B, or two women, woman A, woman B, and they're both carrying this big old sack, like, like, like Santa Claus, big old sack, big, big, huge sack, filled with rocks and stones and bricks, both of them, for many, many years, or would you say a minimum of a year, or, or many years, what, what, doesn't matter, but they're carrying this big old sack, heavy, heavy, and man A, woman A, person A, person A, uh, person A, after some time goes, wait a minute, what is in here? This is so heavy, what is it? Opens up the bag and he says, you know what? There's nothing but rocks and, and bricks and stones in here. They're, they're not worth nothing. He, get, he or she gets the bag, empties it, and says, no more. I'm done. I'm done. Puts the folds of bag up in case he bumps into some golden nuggets, some wisdom, some good advice. So he can fill up his bag with that instead of just stones and rubbish and bricks and rocks. And he's off. And in whatever mountain he runs across, he's able to climb it and conquer that mountain. Okay? Now, person B, on the other hand, continues to carry his sack filled with rocks and rubbish and stones and bricks, emotional pain, baggage, garbage that we no longer need. And he says, why are you walking without your sack? Don't you see me? See me? Look at me. All proud. I'm walking with my bag of pain, emotional pain, and garbage, and rocks, and rubbish, and stones, and bricks. I'm, look at me. Look, look what I can do. Look, I'm carrying mine. I'm going to continue to carry mine. Well, you guys, what person do you want to be? You want to continue to live in yesterday, yesterdays and yesteryears and allow what happened in the past to affect where you're at today, like I did for so many years. Once again, the only reason why I can share this is because I did this myself. And I caused so much pain and havoc, not only to me, but to my family and those that love me. And I closed the opportunity of spiritual, I closed the spiritual door of opportunities, unlimited opportunities, and I closed it shut on myself. I couldn't blame nobody. Or have you taken a decision to go ahead and live in the moment of now and enjoy the moment of now? And open your bag and let it all, let all that rubbish and all that stones and bricks and all that garbage, let it go. And stop carrying it. And then start filling up with mentorship, with good advice, with golden nuggets, with healing. So where are you at, you guys? Where are you at? Ask yourself that. Now, don't forget, once you decide to empty that bag of uh, rocks, rubbish, stones, garbage, emotional pain, that no, no longer necessary, regret, anger, uh, ego, once you let go of that, it's not going to be easy, you guys. But that's the first step in taking your decision and making your decision and going into the right direction, which is forward. Is it going to be easy? No. Things are still going to happen. But it's okay because you're going to overcome that because with God on your side, nothing can stop you. If God is for you, who can be against you? No one. And things are going to happen, but you can conquer this. Yes, because you can do anything and everything through Jesus Christ that dwells within you. Yes. And then you'll be able to spend time with family and loved ones and places and, and Places that you never would have thought been possible, and they would not have been possible because you were living in yesterdays, yesteryears. But by living in the moment of now, then you get power, abundance of peace, love, joy, healing, forgiveness of oneself and others. I forgiving myself and then forgiving others and continuing and then continuing to go forward and trudge forward. Yes, and that's what it's all about, you guys. Um, so the time has come for you to make a decision. Are you going to be living in the moment of now? Or are you going to still be living in, in yesterday and yesteryears, holding on to rubbish and garbage and stuff like that? It's all on you. It's your free will, and you will be where you will to be. No one can, no one can force you, but it's all on you. All right, guys. Don't forget, if you know anybody that one needs to hear this, share it with them. If you can, smash the like button. And also, 
If you haven't subscribed, then feel free to subscribe. But also, if you know anybody that's living paycheck to paycheck or is in debt or is in, or suffering economically anywhere in the United States, send them this link to them and I can help you guys out. I can. I own my own business because I'm living in the moment now. I own my own business. I'm now studying to get my federal licenses to help people retire with a nice financial nest egg and have a nice financial wall so big that whatever there's nothing that can come through it. Okay, and I can show people how to do that on their spare time without leaving their jobs or their employment, but start building up their own little business, their own little baby, helping people with money and educating families on how money works and showing people how to transition from having to work for money to have money work for you. There's nothing wrong making money while you're asleep. Nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong with righting the wrong and making a difference in our communities. Our community members are being taken advantage of and ripped off, and it's not going to happen on my watch. I'm looking for people that want to go ahead and do the same. It has to be the right, honest, and ethical thing, of course. God, family, business. All right, you guys, with that being said, you guys be safe. Have an amazing day. Hope you guys are enjoying your July. Blessings, take care. Because right now, I'm going to go ahead and spend time with my family now. And that's what I'm doing by living in the moment now. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's up? Pops, sister, mom, and uh, my beautiful niece, superstar. My sister's over there. Yes, yes. And Pops is knocked out, but it's okay. He did what he had to do. Sleeping, huh? Living in the moment and now, you guys. All right, blessings. Let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Polo gold, praise one, love one. God only. Love you, sis. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, mama. <laughs> Love you, superstar. Loco, 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 loco. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy for life. Love you guys. Bye.